So you're the internal IT person or head up the internal IT department for your employer. And you want to do good. You want to make decisions. You want to make a difference. You want to leave your stamp on this organization. And that's great for the areas where you should. But there are some areas where a lot of IT people overstep their responsibility and their knowledge and do too much. Let's talk about that. This is the latest on how to MSP proof your job, where I'm trying to help people, especially internal IT people, really increase their stickiness with their employers in a good way. And today I want to talk about holding CEOs accountable. There are a lot of conversations and a lot of discussions and a lot of decisions, strategic and tactical, that are made involving IT, but really have to do with productivity, with risk, with really non-technical, but how we implement the technical. And in a lot of cases, IT people feel they should make those decisions. And in a lot of cases, the CEOs agree with them because they don't want to have to deal with any of that sort of stuff. That's a mistake, and it's a mistake on several levels. It's, first of all, a mistake because you're allowing the CEO to essentially abdicate their responsibility for having any understanding of IT. And it's also a mistake because you may be taking either risks or costs or whatever that's really not part of your job. In other words, for an organization such as yours, should people be operating machines remotely? And if so, under what circumstance? Your responsibility is to make recommendations, is to talk about the risk, is to talk about the opportunity, to talk about alternatives. But at the end of the day, the acceptance of the risk is on the part of management. And what I mean by that is if you make the decisions, you're basically letting them off the hook that they don't have to understand. And if anything goes wrong, who are they coming for? They're coming for you. So always look for ways to involve CEOs. Now, a lot of them don't want to, in which case my recommendation is, Put down the pluses, the minuses, what are the alternatives, and don't go overboard on this because if they don't care, they're not going to care to read your five-page diatribe. But just write some quick summary that simply says, my thought or recommendation is to go this direction. However, there are pluses and minuses I'm happy to discuss. And then essentially present that so that you're giving your opinion, which is absolutely valid, but you're not giving it as the content expert or as the person who has the ultimate responsibility. It is a long, arduous journey to bring CEOs into understanding IT, but it's a critical one if you're going to be successful. Not all MSPs want your job. Some, like Simplex IT, actually want to help you and assist you through co-managed IT services. We've actually written a couple books on it, and I'd love to share one with you. Just DM me or email me bob at simplex-it.com, and I'll send you a copy. But in the meantime, Tell me, what's the weirdest thing a CEO has ever tried to delegate to you? Maybe not the weirdest thing. A thing.